What's up YouTube? This is Dr. Davis and I'm back with another NBA 2K22 build video. So today I'm going to be bringing you two builds, um, a point guard and then I'm going to be bringing you a power forward. So let's get to the point guard. Uh, remember that I want for point guard, you can either go right or left. Um, remember that that determines your dunks. So make sure you pick which one, everyone, um, you know, remember to use strong hand or weak hand. So for here, my point guard is going to be 6'4". You could go 175 to make sure you get the highest speed, but the way people are talking, strength is going to be important. So I went um, 190, I think, or 200. 190 to 200 I think would be good, just so you can have a higher strength um, above that 50 threshold. So I think that will work. Wingspan, got to go 6'6", just to have a little bit extra. You still get the 90 ball handle. So then we're going to start with driving layup. So this is going to be a slashing playmaker, the best slashing playmaker you could possibly make. So I put my driving layup to 85. 85 means that you can get all of those um, layup packages that you want. Driving dunk to 80. This year, quick drops, you need an 80. So you get an 80, you'll still have quick drops at a 6-4, which is good. And then of course, we put the ball handle all the way up to 90 to get those elite dribble moves, the Trey Siggs, the Derrick Roses. Um, so pass accuracy, just depending on how you want to play, I would go 85 plus depending on what type of point guard you want to be. Just remember the higher your passer rating, the faster your passes go. Speed with ball all the way up, of course. Uh, three point shot, 80. You don't need more than that. And then mid range, probably in 80 as well. Like I think those two things are very, very serviceable depending on the type of player you're going to be, right? Now for defense. Depending on who you are, if this is for a park build, I put it all the way up for a park build. But if you are going to have a dedicated lockdown, I think 80 perimeter defense is fine um, for your steal. Depending on the, the badge levels, just like in 2K22, 86 is where you can get the gold interceptor and gold pickpocket. So I'll put it up wherever that goes. Uh, block, got to go all the way up. Helps with your contest. Then we go speed, 90. Acceleration, 88. Vertical. Um, I would go 65 plus depending on the type of um, pro contacts dunks you want. 65 is always the lowest. My stamina always goes to 86. And this is what uh, my build would look like. Free throws, depending on if I'm planning on going to the pro am with this build, I could change that. Um, I could probably lower driving layup to an 80 wouldn't be too big of a, a difference but you just want to make sure you are set as far as being able to go with uh, being able to finish at the rim being able to shoot because you want to be a well-rounded guard so if i was to make a point guard this is what my point guard would look like on nba 2k23 um, as you can see i'm trying to lower the steel kind of play with the settings a little bit um see what i can get uh, so I don't have to waste badges so a 70 so I can get silver bring my perimeter defense back up to an 88 put my block up just to make sure I'm, I'm able to get that free throw so that's very important to me especially if I'm trying to run um, in the pro-am but that would be the point guard that I make just so it could be good at everything as far as primary takeover and secondary takeover um, you want to be a slash and play so of course you get a slashing and a playmaking and then that's it and then he give me shades of a two-way playmaker so we're talking about john wall mike conley uh fred van fleet it's not bad um, like i say you're not great at one thing but you'll be really really good at everything and so this is something that i think is important especially when you're talking about the park especially if you play with randoms um so that's the first bet i'm gonna make so now this brings me to my second build that i'm gonna make and that is going to be a power forward um, a power forward so let's go ahead and get into it i uh, put it at power forward um, i put it at right hand remember the hand determines which side is strong dunk which side is weak dunk um, so for him i put him at 610 um, and then i put the weight uh, about 230 ish um, i wanted to keep it there because i don't want to go below 80 strength on my power forward and so i see that it changed the strength so i put it back down to 72 and then my speed will be at 69. Remember, we always have gym rat, and that'll give you that plus four in acceleration and plus four in speed. 
So then we come to the attributes, shot close, gotta be uh, 75 to an 80 on a power forward. Um, this is gonna be a great park build because you'll be able to do multiple things. Uh, gotta put the post control up. For those of you who don't know, post control determines how often you get stripped when you're posting up. So you gotta make sure um, that's a high rating as well. Put the driving dunk up to 75, I think. Yeah, and then we scroll down here, mid range. I think I put it at like a 70. I don't think it needs to be that high. And then your three ball can be at an 80. So you should be able to consistently knock down some shots, especially if you're shooting out of the corner and that's not including the badges that you're gonna have. So as a power forward, I really like to pass the ball, be a secondary playmaker behind my actual point guard. So I wanna make sure I have a high pass accuracy. Um, and then I move the ball handle to 70 and then speed with ball to 78. So then of course you gotta go speed, acceleration, strength all the way up. Uh, vertical about 65 to 70, just so I can have those contact dunks. Very, very important that you have the contact dunks. And then for big, my stamina does not go above 80 ever, ever, because you're not gonna be running up and down the floor and moving left and right and doing all that. So um, defensive rebound, of course, 90. Block 90. Uh, interior defense as high as it can go. Um, and then I put the perimeter up to 70 so you can be serviceable. Um, you're not going to be good, but it'll be serviceable for a big. And then put the steel all the way up. Uh, or I put it on 70, but I think I'll put it all the way up eventually. I also put up uh, Office of Rebounding because you want to be able to rebound um, as a power forward. So then I move my pass accuracy up, like I said, determine on who you want to be from 80 to 90, so at 85. I wouldn't go below a 70. I think 70 is going to be serviceable as far as accuracy, as far as speed, speed of your passes. So I think 70 should be okay. I put my driving layup to 70 um, just so I can be serviceable. And then I put my eight uh, standing dunk. Um, depending on what rise up is going to be at, that's why I put it at 84. So I want to see if I can get silver or gold rise up that'd be good for me and so pretty much um yeah and then i raised my offensive rebound 75 just so i can be able to do it and so pretty much this is what uh um, what my power forward build is gonna look like i should be able to finish around the rim uh decently um if i catch some rebounds i can go straight up with the standard duck rating at 84 um i can shoot mid ranges but i prefer to shoot threes um, got to get those threes up 83 ball i think that should be serviceable um, remember and remember what's tied to your three ball um, is the jumpers that you can make so remember the speed and all that stuff depend on what your rating is so the higher your rating the faster jump shots you can get so you want to make sure you you have that at a pretty decent rate then I have speed at 69 strength needs to be at 80 vertical 65 and then stamina is gonna be 83 and so with this, you can put whatever you want to. Just know that you have um, each type of uh, takeover that you can get. So you have your post scoring, um, you have your rebounding, you have your rim protecting, and then you also have shooting. And so just depending on the type of player you want to be, that's what it'll be. Let's see what we got. We got Tim Duncan, Evan Mobley, and Julius Randle. So like I said, uh, pretty good build, um, but like, share, subscribe, and I'll bring you some more build videos um, as we get closer to 2K23. Peace.